Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the peace of the Lord. Um, just a short message for the friends and family out there. You know, I love you guys. God bless you all abundantly. I've been praying for people that I know, people that I don't know. I've been asking the Lord to fill the people with his Holy Spirit, that he can guide them through the Holy Spirit to prepare themselves for the things that are coming and the things that are happening right now. Um, just wanted to say briefly <clears throat> that I received two voice messages. There's been voice messages going around about um, martial law in London, quarantine in the whole of England. And um, so on one of these voice notes, um, this brother, he states that his missus or the friend is missus friend works for the police force and they are trying to organize themselves to put England on a lockdown by Thursday the Thursday the excuse me brothers and sisters let me just get this date right by Thursday the 19th of March and then there's another um, brother out there he's stating that a friend of his I think works for the military and the military are organizing with the police stating that they want to put England on a full lockdown I just recently spoke to my friend that works in the city and he says the high-end restaurants and shops and stuff are beginning to close down so brothers and sisters just like with Wuhan and China um, just like in, in uh, Italy you can see that they're slowly beginning to quarantine and lock every way down so what I would say if you haven't already got your shopping get your shopping in because in the Bible um, there was a there was um, famine coming and someone had a vision and basically in this vision there was no food or water for like seven years and then there was like seven years of a lot of food and water so God told his people them to stack up in your storehouse of food and water and rice in these days we use rice and flour and chicken whatever brothers and sisters stack up on your food this quarantine could be a month, it could be six months. All you could do is just prepare yourself. Amen. Also, I want to share with the brothers and sisters that I believe that this plague is actually mutating and it will become something worse. Where it will either kill you quicker or it will just mess you up on another level. And I believe that through this is where the Antichrist wants to kill as much people as possible so he can then microchip the remaining people on the earth. Amen. So, this is not the time to be tired. Amen. If you can, make your way to your loved ones. Prepare to stay with them. Spend the time reading, praying, worshipping God together, asking God for guidance. Because this coronavirus ain't going to go away and then society going to go back to the way it was. Amen. Because the Bible says it's the beginning of birth pains, birth pains which only get worse until someone has a baby. So, it's, it's, it's easy to understand that whether it's microchip that comes after this or it's full martial law for the world lockdown um, whatever it is it's gonna get worse before it gets better matter of fact it's gonna get so worse until Jesus comes back and then it's gonna get better for those that are gone with him to heaven so if I've ever prayed for you if I've ever sent you a message that bless you give glory to God I'm nothing I'm just a normal human being the God is God is who spoke through me I'm not like a super prophet that I can God gets all the glory um, if I haven't prayed for you, I've been praying for you in the spirit. For those that I do know, friends and family, I love you. I'm still praying for all you guys and God's protection. Remember Psalms 91, pestilence may come, 10,000 fall on your left, on your right, it shall not come near you. God is with you. Amen. It's not the time to be having fear, but to trust God, to come closer to God. Because people are just seeing this as like a big pandemic of all oh, the world is done. God don't love no one. God will use this to harvest his people. All the people that know God that didn't want to pay attention to him, they're going to be paying attention to him right now. Amen. So I just wanted to tell you guys, be encouraged, be strong. Not because your area isn't locked down or your closest supermarket isn't shut down means you shouldn't take this serious. Take this serious, brothers and sisters. I've done four. This will be my fifth video now, probably about the coronavirus. Other people's done 10 videos. Some people done 15, 20 videos. Normally, um, when you do videos on YouTube or Facebook, people don't normally repeat videos. That's not something that we do, but because God placed it on our hearts so big, this is serious what is coming. This is why we've done multiple videos. They might even shut down social media, which I had a dream about. Um, there's no knowing what turn this will take. Amen. So guard your heavens, guard your heart, guard your family. 
Protect your food, protect yourself, put your trust in God, let him guide you. I had a vision at one time that when the martial law came, things got so bad that we had to be transported from A to B by angels. This is the time where Bible revelations are going to come to pass. There are going to be miracles happening all over this planet. Meanwhile, all this chaos is happening because the devil is the one that made this virus, brothers and sisters. The angel of death that's in Revelation, I think, 13 or 12. This is the angel of death. Amen. And with the floods and the tsunamis and all these other things that are coming, it's not going to get any better. World war is brewing between America and, and, and um, Iran. You know, locusts everywhere, floods, tornadoes, plus this coronavirus pandemic plague thing. And the next coming, the martial law, next coming, the microchipping, like mass killings. CERN is opening up the spiritual realm. Demons are going to cross over from the, getting the key to the bottomless pit. Things will get better. So if I ever hurt you or did you wrong, may you forgive me. God bless you. It was a mistake. I was only trying to bless and edify the sons and daughters of, of Zion. If I ever did any good in your life, God get the glory because I'm not good. Only God is good. <laughs> Amen. And hopefully I can see you again soon in another video. If not, hopefully I'll see you in heaven or I'll see you in that location where the angels are going to transport us to when things get really bad. Because all it takes right now is one flood and everything flips upside down again. Because that means no more clean water. That means no more electric. And how many of you can say you can survive two months without electric? or even a week without social media now is the time to let your strength come from God repent of your sins turn away from the things that you know God don't like ask him to give you strength pray for your family pray for the people you don't know stay close to Jesus and be encouraged God will send his angels to look after his people do not worry for yourself worry for the people in this time that don't know God and if you do know God please don't be lukewarm this is the time to be full hundred for God not sometimes amen God bless my family my friends God bless everybody that I know like I said by the mercy of God I'll see you in another video or I'll see you in heaven if I make it because not because I'm here trying to help everybody's journey doesn't mean I'm not still on a journey I need God's mercy and grace every day amen especially when you try to do the work of God the devil rise up in your life in your family your friends your marriages everything he can get to get at you he tries your health he goes after everything amen so don't think because we share the gospel I mean our life is perfect we need god just like you do it's a daily battle so if you can pray for me also amen not because i pray for others doesn't mean that my life is perfect i still got struggles i still got the devil fighting me amen so god bless you all may god protection and peace and mercy and grace shine upon you all may you all be filled with the power of the holy spirit to walk live in miracles until Jesus come back. Amen. God bless you all. Signing out.